Hi friends, I'm Sophia. In this video, I'll show you the easiest dress I've sewed. Hi friends, welcome to the channel Sophia Sew and Break. I'm Sophia and in this video, I will be sharing with you this dress and also how it looks on me from the pattern New Look. So let's begin. This dress is made from the pattern New Look 6615 and this is the model that I made. The, I believe it's a B. Yes, the B. And next, which I will be sewing, is this one right here to see which one would be the chosen one. So this is the second dress that I have that I sold for the tea party that I will be attending next month. So I'm making a few dresses to make to see which one I will choose. So far, both of them looks good with the hat that I'm planning on wearing, which is a Victorian hat. The team for the tea party will be um, vintage slash Victorian. And so I have the Victorian hat and then I'll be making any dress that looks proper for the dress. And I think that this style right here was so proper. So the dress is not totally done. What it what I did was I sewed it on, um, um, based it, I based it together. I model it out to see how it would look and i'm glad that i did that because the zipper i have to um i ruined the zipper while i was putting it on or before i did because i cut the top remaining of the zipper and the bottom which i should have left it so by pulling it up it just ripped it a little bit because there was no room to hold the zipper and put it up by myself and the next thing is that i'll tighten it tighten the zipper a little more like close it a little bit more because this part of the sleeve is just a little hanging so i just want it to stay there with the same um measurement of the like you see right here and it looks that way it just feels loose so i believe when i fix the zipper it'll be okay so this is my second choice and i chose this color because this color look so victorianish to me and it matches the hat so it looked pretty good with the hat so i think i will wear that if i do wear this dress i will wear that hat so i didn't make a new hat so i may make a new hat when i sew this one because i want to sew this one to see how it would look because it also looks like it would be a good fit for the victorian or the vintage which even though this dress is not vintage but um i like it very much and it's really very elegant and i don't know so some reason i like this dress and it has more than one option so the first option that i liked was this one so the next one will be this the c and then later i'll probably try this one for casual dressing so the new look patterns they are very easy i mean there's they're the easiest patterns to um to deal with so i mean even though it looked a little um, average it was pretty easy it really was so that's it for this video i will try my best to sew this uh the c for this weekend but i'm not guaranteeing it because so much has been happening so like to kind of like distract me from sewing so not it's not that it was a bad thing, but it just has to, you know, life happens and stuff happens. So you got to take care of life as it goes, right? So that is it for today. I want to thank all of my subscribers for tuning in and subscribing. Thank you so much for all of my viewers. I do appreciate you viewing my videos and liking. And also, I want to say Jesus loves you and so do I. And let us let the peace of God rule in our hearts to the which also we are called in one body. And we all have to be thankful. So God bless you and hope to hope that you will see my videos this weekend or next week. God bless you and have a great day. So here is my new look 6615 this dress this is it right here that's it 
okay so i cut it already i um put it all together get this done right here turn it around okay i'm doing a lot different a little different from the pattern instructions but it'll, it'll get done this is my way and here is the back zipper is on and uh, here is the sleeve i am going to put this all together now the top and then i get to the skirt because i'm making this one right here this one okay so now we're trying to put it all together so we can add the sleeves somewhere around here i need to read this book or right, this paperwork right here and as you can tell i did not do no surging yet on this one i'll do it after so that's it right here all right so now here is the sleeves i'm going to add it let's see if i can show you in here this way Oop. i'm using my hands with the phone see so we're going to put this like this and then we are going to pin all the way to the dot which it's on the um So here is one of the sleeves. I already I have one already on, but I did not show how to add it. So I sewed it. Uh, okay. Sewed it here. Sewed it here. Now I'm going to turn it inside out again because this is the way. Uh, I messed up there, but this is the way. I'm going to add it to the sleeve side right there, just to here. So I'll show you now. Let's see here. Here is how I have the one of them already pinned in, and it's in. It's kind of a little bit like the pants, but you put it this way like that. So I have the sleeve side on the side so what i'm going to do now is this is the it, this i'm going to add this inside here and find the middle right here add this together open this up then i'm going to press it press it down and i'm going to add a large pin to keep this like this like so all this is going to be cleaned after i'm done i usually do it before what i did this one so see this little um you see this little dot right there that is going to be an instruction to add that and add it there so that's where you're going to start to stitch from here to the next uh little dot right there so I'm going to pin it around, okay? So it's pinned together in the inside. See, it's on the wrong side and the, um, the sleeves are in the inside. So what we're going to do right now, I am going to stitch from this dot right here all the way around this way and stop right there. Then I will show you once I turned it inside out. So far, this is what it's looking like. I have to add the skirt. And it's all done. Here is the sleeve. Oh, I have to give the sleeves hem. Cut it a little bit. Just kind of fix this part right here. Fix this right here. And it's all set. Hi, friends. Here is what the dress is going to look like with the hat and this is the new look 6615 and i made the model b this one right here and this is this dress right here will be my next choice for 
the tea party on next month and um, right now I may have to put the zipper a little uh, take the zipper off and put it a little tighter because in the back it's, this is falling too much and it should just be like poof so so far I'm liking the way it fit I just still got to work on this right here because for some reason this is not going nowhere and I mean I like her I don't mind but not with this dress <laughs> so this is what it's gonna look like I really love this dress I'm going to make the other one which is the model uh, C I'm going to make this one and I'm going to make it flurry to see um, how it would look but so far with this hat this also to me it looks like it could be a match so here it is and um, very easy set for a lot of details up here but it actually was really easy so here it is and thank you so much for watching the video thank you for subscribing and thank you for viewing stay tuned to my next choice I may make another hat I'm not probably don't come back with this one but because the it the theme for the tea party is Victorian vintage Victorian or Victorian vintage you have to kind of mix them up together so that's why I kind of want to keep the hat in this style so don't forget Jesus loves you and so do I and let the peace of God rule in your heart to which also we are called in one body and be you and me and God be blessed